All right, guys, we're back at it again today. A little overcast, so it's nice. The sun's not beating down like crazy. Even so, it's not a very hot summer here in Utah. So today I'm taking advantage of having uh, the dump trailer here to get rid of a bunch of tires that I've had for a long time. This is like when I first got into drifting, I would literally save any scab I could get my hands on. Never ended up using them all, but I need to get rid of them now. So stored them for years and years and years, and now I'm just paying to get rid of them. So I'm gonna load up all these tires and get them out of here. Start cleaning this up a little bit. Are you my helper? How many tires did we put in here? Yucky water in that one. Yucky water? What about the other one that we buried already? What? What about the one that we buried? What was inside of that one? The one that we buried? Yeah. What was inside of it? No. I don't know. What? Spider. The spider. Yeah. But now we don't see it anymore because it's buried, huh? Yeah. Okay, should we finish up and then go take them to Salt Lake? Yeah. Couple updates. Uh, my fence was actually starting to sink. Um, I built this a while ago with metal posts buried in the ground. And you can see we got pretty deep burying it, but I didn't put any rebar or anything welded to keep it from falling. So it actually sunk into the concrete pillar that I built there. So um, I'm gonna raise it up either with a floor jack or pull up on it with the Mini X. And then we'll put something under it, like a, like a piece of concrete or something, something to keep it from sinking. And then I'm going to drill holes through it and put Subaru head bolts through there. And then uh, build a half moon out of wood right here and then pour concrete around this side. I don't want to chip the whole thing up, but you can see um, it definitely needs this side built up again. So um, I'll do a little bit more concrete this time. But I, I think with the Subaru head studs through there, it'll keep it from sinking again once it's up. Um, I'll probably have to do one through the top so it's resting on concrete so it doesn't sink. And then uh, I'll either leave the jack under or something so it doesn't have downward pressure on it well because concrete's curing. Hopefully that's enough to keep it uh, keep it where it is. But I think from when I first built it, there's so much weight of metal and then this whole fence gate is hanging off of there. It just started to sink that, that side. I had no idea. Um, I should have figured it out because this side kept starting to scrape on the ground. But I thought it was because the hinges bent after a windstorm, but I think it was a combination of both. That side appears to have not sunk at all. Anyways, moving on. Got a lot of this side cleared up. Just There's just a lot of property cleanup. Um, I kind of let the property go. Uh, moving stuff back here, putting tires and wheels and all sorts of stuff. A86 rear end. Don't ask me if that's for sale, that's for my car. So, my buddy Jesus stopped by. He's a pro on the Mini X. Um, I got nothing when it comes to his skills on that thing. So we started digging up this root here. Uh, and man, like we got a pretty deep hole here and it's not even close to wanting to come out. So we're gonna dump that trailer load, hook up the truck and start yanking on this. Hopefully that'll allow us to get that fence straightened out again. You can see I used a chainsaw to get through that root there. Still didn't want to come, come out. So we decided to start on this root back here and Jesus has got a crazy hole going on over here and that root, or not root, the tree stump and the roots and everything are still not wanting to budge. Like it's crazy how intense this is. I can't imagine trying to do this. Can't imagine trying to do this with uh, without equipment. Like there's no chance. Look how big that hole is. Might as well just build a basement back here with as deep as we are already. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy watching someone that knows how to operate a machinery because they just like, you got two hands, two feet going on, everything all at the same time. I guess it's kind of like drifting, but in a, in a different sense. Um, but it's just impressive watching someone do something that I don't know how to do very well. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have probably done uh, operated equipment, so tell me in the comments. How'd you, how'd you learn and how long did it take you to get really proficient at it? I kind of wanted that because it's really not much different than like being good at a video game or being good at drifting or anything like that. Like it just takes time, like seat time, right? Tell me about your seat time in a Kubota. So when I put this fence post in the ground, I should have welded some stakes coming out of it to keep it from sinking in the concrete, but I didn't. So what I did was added some head bolts. This 
guy's getting wild. He's about to fall in the hole. Oh, it's moving. It's <laughs> You're wild, man. It's starting to move. Everything's moving. <laughs> there it is. That's wild. I want to hear some stump stories. If you guys got a stump story, tell me about it. That's crazy. Some of you guys probably do this for a living. I don't see this every day, so it's kind of wild. Tell you what though man that, that kubota that thing puts in work so you guys can see we had a whole lot of yard work we needed to do to get the property cleaned up and everything so we could even start on anything else but obviously we're still waiting for the architectural the engineering and the permit to come back from the city so i'll spare you the uh the boringness of all the cleanup and stuff this is all i'm going to show on this video the next video we're going to talk about some pricing um the process of uh, engineering and architecture and the process of getting things submitted to the city. As I said before, this is a dream I've had for a long time, so I'm really excited to get the process going. I appreciate you guys following along. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, drop a like, a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Missed it? Yeah, I missed okay. it. Reset, let's try again.